Hey again guys and welcome back. Today I want to talk to you about this. This is an O1 benchtop multimeter, the XDM1041. This was sent over by banggood.com for my review. Uh, if you're just wondering, this thing is excellent. So uh, I wouldn't hesitate to go grab it if you want something like this. I think this is one of the best examples for the price you can get. But if you want to see the details, just stick around. So in the box, there is actually an instruction manual and an extra fuse. Uh, this is an AC unit, so it plugs into the wall with an IEC cable, and it is fused here. There are no extra fuses for the current ranges over here, uh, which are inside accessible by, I think it's just five screws, not very many screws. Um, this thing does have a USB port on this side. It has uh, push buttons for all the functions over here. Um, I've seen a few other benchtop meters and they have a dial, but I think if you are uh, sitting this on your benchtop, I think I would prefer the buttons myself. These leads, they come with these straight connectors. So they have the four millimeter bananas with the red little caps on them there. Um, and they come out straight, which is perfect for a benchtop meter, as well as they have the caps on top of the leads, but these caps are rubberized, so you don't have to fight to get them off. That's actually really cool. Also includes some alligator clips, which is quite useful as well. Are these the thread-on type? No, they're the squeeze-on type, so you just kind of squeeze that in like that, and there we go, got alligator clips. Um, this rubber is a bit stiff. It could stand to be a little bit more flexible, but it's definitely serviceable. Comes with a USB cable. This is the uh, USB type B, I believe. Uh, kind of like a printer cable, and we'll see what that's for. And most importantly, the power cord don't know if you'll be able to see that, but it is UL, Canada, and US listed. So this comes with an actual serviceable power cord. It won't, probably won't burn down your house, which is phenomenal. So I'm gonna get this plugged in and we can start doing our little tests. And here we go, all plugged in. I'm gonna try to work around the camera here, but uh, no promises on if I'll get stuff done. Just going to press and hold the power button and it will boot up. As you can tell, the boot up time is actually not that bad. It's not as fast as a, you know, regular handheld multimeter, but it isn't slow either. And these buttons are quite responsive. You just click it there into, uh, into resistance and we can jump right into uh, giving it the Kaiweets uh, multimeter gauntlet here. So for 10 ohms, Oh yeah, it's true. These uh, these leads fit just barely in these uh, posts. So this is 10 ohms, 0.1%. Uh, so that's 10.2. Uh, oh yeah, and there's a refresh speed you can change here. Medium and high. Look at the difference at the fast refresh. You see the numbers jumping around a lot more like that? So yeah, 10.1, 10.2. 100 ohms, 0.01%. Not bad. You, yeah, you see, my uh, I'm just at the at the, the reach limit of these leads. Looks like 10.09. Uh, it's a little bit easier to follow if it's on a slower refresh. There we go. It's pretty damn close. 1K. Ooh, nearly exactly 1K. Not bad. 10K, 0.01%. 10K, almost exact. And 100K. If you're hearing the fan ramp up, that is not from this unit, it's the power supply. Uh, powering up the voltage reference on this thing, which I just knocked off. 
Okay, next one up, uh, we're going to do continuity buzzer. So I'm just going to change this into continuity beeper on. It's not super fast and it's not latching, but it's not bad. You can also set the threshold so you can actually change with the range buttons, you know, can change that down to one ohm if you want. And then back threshold, so one ohm threshold. Yeah, it's not super fast. It does work, buzzer is loud, but it's not turbo fast. Um, got the diode setting, same thing, diode also has the beeper. And um, that works just the same as any other multimeter. I got up to three volts with it, and so it'll light up a diode any color you want, just not one of the high power ones. Um, next, for DC volts, got my voltage reference here. Gonna start down in the low range, 2V5, so 2.5 volts. 2.4975, pretty good. For the five volt, 4.9986, pretty damn close. Don't forget this is a 55,000 count multimeter, four and a half digit, seven and a half volts now. Seven point four nine five, pretty darn close. And for ten volts, nine point nine nine five, pretty damn close. We're gonna switch to current now. Leaving that one in. Milliamps and microamps. Uh, I think this only really works down at. Uh, this should be something like uh, seven point, or it should be. Uh, one milliamp and as you can see it is reading a bit low uh, for some reason with the leads reversed it reads a little bit better really close uh, basically two milliamps off which is uh, not bad really Capacitance next. Here we have 82 nanofarad, 1%. Not bad. And 100 nanofarad, 1%. Pretty much right within range. And uh, the Kiwitz multimeter read it low as well. Now for some of the cooler functions of this thing. Um, you have a record feature and you have the choice between auto and manual. Let's go and automatic record and here's the last data set that I've done. But basically you set how many data points you want. This is set to 100 and you set the interval. You hit start and then you can go run and stop. And then this is actually collecting data. We're on the DC volt range uh, and there's 10 volts from the tester showing. So it's actually grabbing data points every second for 100 seconds. And we can interrupt it at any time by telling it to stop. And by stop, I mean end. And then here's all the data points. And these data points are actually exportable in a uh, comma separated value um, Excel sheet through the USB. That's pretty neat. Uh, on top of that, there are um, there's the, the screen functions here with the backlight, the clock. Um, you can set the uh, communications rate because this is available in USB and RS-232. This is the um, USB version. Uh, it does frequency counting as well as um, AC volts, not a problem. Uh, it has temperature. It has an internal probe. So 19.5, and you can actually choose if it's the internal or external display that is being shown. And you can change the type. So if I take this out of here, that 
and that is about accurate. My thermometer says about 23 degrees. The USB software is a little bit clunky, but it does work flawlessly once you do get it to work. I found it was a little difficult to get it connected, um, and the, the software would stop responding uh, while it was connecting, but once it's connected, it seems to work just fine. There are also some features like you can have dual display. So if I have my uh, volts AC here, I can hit the dual mode and the dual mode, you can add frequency to it. So there's the frequency. On DC volts, you can, uh, you can add stuff like the min max, also available through the math function and display on. There you go, min, max, and average. So it has all the features really that you would want in a multimeter. And all these buttons are accessible through the USB control. So I guess the question is, is this thing right for you? Well, the Kaiweats HT118A is a fantastic multimeter. It does everything that this can do except it cannot do data logging and it is a three and a half digit multimeter. This thing is a four and a half digit multimeter, meaning you have one extra digit of precision in here. We've seen that they are both highly accurate, but this one will give you that slight bit more accuracy. Also, the benefit of having a bench multimeter is that you always know where it is. This one here can be under the hood of my car, it can be in my to-go bag, it can be on my bench, it can be anywhere. This guy here will be in one spot and one spot alone. I don't have to change the batteries, and it does logging right in the device. You don't even need to use the USB. You can, but you don't have to. If you're a beginner, you probably want something like this. But if you're ready to step your game up a little bit and you're not quite ready to spend thousands of dollars on a benchtop multimeter, this one's your man. Thanks for watching.